darlings and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I of course am back with another makeup tutorial on this look <laughs> and I am so obsessed with this look and I know I always say that in all my makeup tutorials but guys this is definitely one of my top five favorites. I did this inner um, extended inner corner eyeliner and I've never done that before. It was completely out of my comfort zone. I didn't even know how to do it. Kind of was just winging it but I loved 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 the way it turned out and like I said I always encourage you guys to play with makeup because it's just so much fun you'll never know what you actually end up liking and hey maybe it becomes like a daily routine whoa <laughs> maybe it becomes a daily routine for you guys so you just never know and if you want to know how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching hey guys so all right to start off with I'm going to begin with my face and I'm going to be taking the Smashbox photo finish primer water and I'm just going to start spraying this all over my face and I started off with my face just so it can absorb the moisture from this primer while I do my eyes because I am going to be working with dark shadows so I want to start off with my eyes first and besides I'm just so used to it now that it just feels weird every time I don't start off with my eyes first so for today's primer, I'm actually going to be taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to help me prime. I don't know, I just didn't grab a primer and I'm too lazy to walk to the other side of the room to go grab my Paint Jelly Paint Pot. So I thought, why not switch it up? And guys, just in case my eyebrows are already done, and I have filmed already a eyebrow tutorial for you guys, so I will link it down below if you haven't seen it and you're interested in how I do my eyebrows. Nothing has changed, the products haven't changed, everything's the same. And to set that face down, I'm just going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to just be taking the yellow shade in the middle and I'm just going to dust that all over my lid. This is just going to ensure that that concealer does not go anywhere and really helps the rest of the shadows glide on smoother. Alright, so next up I'm going to be taking the Melt Cosmetics. This is the Dark Matter stack and it's just like those magnetic stacks. I'm pretty sure you have all seen them around Instagram. Don't want to drop these. Oh, it has what well, looks like this and these are the colors that I'm going to be using for today's tutorial. And I'm just going to be taking that blur shade and apply it all over my upper crease and use it as my transition shade. I'm going to be taking this Morphe M441 brush. It's really important that we go ahead and set down a transition shade whenever we're going to work with such dark colors. That way it's not going to look like we just threw powder all over our lid. So next up I'm going to be taking Unseen which is just a darker more browny earthy color and I'm going to be applying this into my crease and I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush to apply that. I'm going to be going back in with my Morphe M441 brush to kind of merge that transition shade and that crease shade together and I'm not applying any additional product on this brush. I'm just kind of using it to blend the two colors together because this one is a lot fluffier. Okay guys, now for the all over lid shade, I'm going to be taking this one right here. It's called Enigma. It is so, so beautiful. It's like this nice burgundy, kind of like, well, no, not like the color of my shirt, but a little bit darker. I just love, love, love it. And we're going to be placing this all over the lid. So I'm going to blend this all up into my crease shade. <laughs> and to do that, I'm using a Morphe M433 brush. This one is a little bit more tapered as you can see here, so it's really going to help meet that crease shade that we applied with that Enigma shade. And it's fluffy as well, so you do want to be careful when using this shade. I mean, <laughs> this brush. So what I'm doing here is I'm just patting it first all over my lid and then blending it out. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to be taking a flat synthetic brush instead to pack on the color and then blend it because I feel like with the fluffy brush it's not really giving me that color pigmentation that I wanted but with this synthetic brush because it's more dense and it's a lot more finer it's not fluffy like that one this one is going to give me that color payoff so let's try this one yeah you see what a difference Okay, now going back into that Morphe M433 brush, I'm just going to use this to blend that shadow. And as always, I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is seamless and blended. I've had this palette for such, such a long time. Well, 
is it a product? It's a stack. I don't know. <laughs> I've had this stack for such a long time. And I always, since it's like so little and it's not like the long typical palettes, I always forget about it. And every time that like I see it, I'm always like, oh, I need to film like something. Or I need to like use it, you know? And I always forget. But then every time I use it, I'm just like, how do I forget about this? It's so beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my Sigma E25 brush, the one that we use that unseen shade with, and I'm just going to go back into that unseen shade just to apply a little bit more of that crease shadow back into my crease so it will help blend that red a little bit better. And as always, just back and forth into my crease I go. Now I'm just going to pack some more of that Enigma shade back into my lid because every time you blend, you always uh, lose some of that intensity. So I just want to intensify that red a little bit more. I mean, red, burgundy, wine. Let's just call this a wine color because it looks like wine. And back into that Morphe M433 brush to once again blend out. You want to blend, blend, blend. Okay, and that's it for this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this side and I will be right back. Alright guys, so to finish off this eye look, I'm actually going to be taking my IT Cosmetics Liner Love um, Waterproof Anti-Aging Cream Gel Eyeliner in Black. And then also I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills number 15 brush. This is the brush that I featured in my last video, uh, my not my last video, my eyebrow routine video. And this is an eyebrow brush, but I heard Kathleen Lights talk about this, that she used it to do her wing eyeliner, how much she loved it. So I was like, hmm, I have like three of those brushes. Let me give one of them a try with my gel eyeliner changed my life it is so amazing i just think that because it's synthetic and it's just so so skinny like the bristles are so tiny the brush is tiny so it's really good to hold in your hand as well it gives you that perfect wing liner so these two match made in heaven so good definitely give it a try Sorry about that guys, my camera died as I was doing my inner corner, but I'm just going to show you in this eye what I did here. So after I completed my winged eyeliner, what I did was I extended my inner corner as you could see, and let me show you how I did that. With my gel eyeliner, all I did was I grabbed a little bit all of I that product. All I did was I let me grabbed see if I could some do more this. gel eyeliner, and then I just started building a new inner corner. So I can't really talk when I do this, so I'm just going to be showing you guys. Alright guys, so with that inner corner done, that completes the eye look. For now, we will return back to it in a little bit. So I'm just going to continue with the rest of my face. Now, I'm going to uh, prime my face with the Pores No More Dr. Brandt um, primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit onto my fingertips. And what I'll do is I'll just warm up the product like so. And then I'm going to push it into the places where I know my pores are a lot larger. So I'm pushing this in to make sure that I'm concealing those pores. I'm also going to apply it to my forehead a little bit because I do have um, fine lines there as well. For foundation today, because I do have a lot of breakouts, I wanna go in with a really full coverage foundation. So today I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I am in the shade NC25. So I'm just going to shake it up in the bottle. I don't have a pump for it, which sucks because it is one of those like pour out tubes. So I always end up pouring more than what I need to. But ugh, I just love this foundation so much. It always, always works for me, no matter what. It, if it's my worst skin day or if it's like my best skin day, I just love the finish of it. Such a good foundation. And now with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to pounce this into my skin. I notice how I'm pouncing. I'm not rubbing. You never want to rub. So for concealer today, I'm also going to be using MAC. Today is a MAC day. And I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealers and I'm using the shade NC20 and NC15 and I'm mixing them both up together. So I just prepare like a little cocktail on the back of my hand and I just kind of take my finger, mix them both together. And then what I'll do is I'll just warm up the product with my finger first. So I apply it directly underneath my eyes, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. And of course, down the center of my bridge, just a little bit. And first, I'll blend out this product with my finger. 
because this is a thicker concealer, I don't want to go in with the brush just yet. I want to make sure that the warmth of my finger first blends it out. Okay, and now for my face, I'm just going to use my beauty blender. And the bad thing about this concealer, though, is it's really, really good and really good coverage. It's just, it, like, you have to work so quickly with it because it dries so damn fast. So you gotta, like, go, 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 go. Okay, and now with my what brush. <laughs> with my Morphe G2 brush, I'm going to use this brush to blend underneath my eyes. And to make my under eyes, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder on this makeup wedge and I'm just going to bake my under eyes. So I'm going to go heavy handed with this powder. And to set the rest of my face, I of course have to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus. Just looks like this and I'm going to be taking a big Morphe E2 brush and I'm just going to swirl it into the powder and set the rest of my face with it. This is a really great powder because it adds a little bit of color and coverage but nothing insane and it honestly doesn't even look like I added anything to my skin. It's so beautiful. To bronze up the rest of my skin, I'm going to be taking this, um, what is this, a Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. It just looks like this on a Sigma E40 brush. And now to really contour my cheekbones, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Contour Kit and this shade in the middle right here. I believe this one is Fawn. It's just a cool tone shade from inside the palette, the middle one. And I'm taking my... Morphe 437 brush to help me contour my cheekbones. I'm going to start dusting off that baking powder and I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush to dust it off. And as I'm dusting it off, I'm also kind of pressing it into my skin just so I could set that area because we didn't apply any of that MAC uh, mineralized skin finish to that underneath area. So I dust off the excess but whatever is left on the brush, I will press it into my skin. And I've been liking doing this lately because I feel like it really does a good job at keeping that rest of that concealer in place. To highlight my face, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. And this is a bronzer and a highlighter together, but I absolutely love the highlighter. I feel like this shade is a really good dupe for the MAC Old Darling highlighter. So if you couldn't get your hands on that highlighter, this one is a really, really good dupe. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to be applying a little bit to my nose, down the center of my bridge as well, kind of like in an exclamation point, and on my cupid's bow. And for blush, I'm going to be taking Max Warm So Blush, such a pretty, like everyday shade. It doesn't look like anything special on the pan, but once you apply this to your face, oh, it's just so pretty. And I'm using a Morphe E4 brush. I'm just going to pounce that in there and apply to mm, the apples of my cheeks. So I make this weird face where I'm just smiling, but it's just so I can see like the apples of my cheeks and see where I'm applying it to. So to finish off the eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my melt stack and what I'm going to do first is take that unseen shade on this Morphe M562 brush. It's extremely, extremely small, which is exactly what I want because when you're working on the lower lash line, you don't want a big fluffy brush because then you're going to get powder all over the place. So what I'm going to start doing is just running this underneath my lash line. And now going into that unseen shade, I'm just going to keep this a little bit tighter into that lower lash line. And I'm using this Luxie 223 Short Shader Brush. It's way, way smaller. And I'm just going to take it on the tip of that brush a little bit, that unseen shade, and keep this closer to my lash line. So finally, I'm going to be going back into my IT Cosmetics Eyeliner. And I'm going to be applying it to my lower lash line. And now I'm going to be taking that uh, Luxie Short Shader Brush. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and blended out, including that black. Alright guys, and now I'm just going to be applying some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in both my top and bottom lashes. And I'm going to be applying these Ardell Glamour 113s. And I will be right back. Lashes and mascara are done, so now moving on to lips. I'm going to start off with Lolita.
So yeah, guys, with the lips done, that completes this makeup look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!